Hey everybody, Mark here. I hope you are all doing well. And yes, you caught me on another uh, pre-lengthened ride into work. Again, I left about an hour early. And I'm just going to cruise around out in the country and eventually make my way to my job. Man, this road is kind of bumpy. Even for this nice bagger cruiser. <laughs> a couple of topics for you today and one of them being that I wish this video was being made on my new Insta360 X4 camera I got it in the mail the other day started playing with it I purchased a new memory card with the camera and I just could not get it to record more than a couple of minutes. You know, I tried different settings, reformatted the card both on the camera and on my laptop, and I just could not get it to work. It's like, well, okay, you know, I'll just use my. Uh, my memory card that I got in my X2 here and everything should be fine put the put that slightly smaller memory card in and same issue I would get so far into a recording and it would just stop just stating that it had a uh, a card error so yeah, there was just some sort of communication between that camera and the memory card that it wouldn't run for more than just a couple of minutes. You know, put the uh, new memory card, the bigger one, into my X2, ran just fine. So yeah, I figured out it had to have been something going on with that camera. So I returned it. I don't know if they're going to give me a full refund because I didn't send the uh, memory card back or if they're just going to, uh, you know, release a full refund for the camera. They should, but we'll see. But I told them I really don't want a refund. I just would like to have a different camera, you know, one that was actually working properly. So we'll see. They should actually be getting the camera by the start of next week would be my guess let's see quick update on Angel and her repairs in that I finally got word from the uh, company I've been trying to buy my parts from and <laughs> The third time is not the charm. <laughs> yeah, the third fender I've tried to order from them, uh, rear fender I should say. Again, it's discontinued. I cannot get it. So the straight up black fender, can't get it. So I've had to go to eBay, try to find one that's in decent shape, but they don't want an arm and a leg for. <laughs> Try to find one that just wants the arm. <laughs> I can afford an arm, I just can't afford the leg. <laughs> Gosh dang it, I always forget about that. I always want to come up over that hill doing 55 and it's still 25 through here. Now I can speed up. So 
So yeah, I, I did find one on eBay. Um, it, it's at least not bent up and dented and stuff like that, but it is used, so it has got some uh, scratches and stuff, which is fine, because I can sand those out and paint it, so that's fine with me. Scratches I can deal with, it's the dents that I don't want to have to deal with. I love this area, this little tunnel of trees, this is nice. Let's see what else was I going to talk about physical therapy is going okay um, they worked on one of my butt muscles and a couple of muscles in my shin and calf area and I might have to work on those again because they still seem pretty tight the therapist actually told me I should take a rolling pin and take a rolling pin to the muscles and stuff when they're hurting and tight and stuff like that and it's like well that's all good when I'm home but you know not so easy to do when I'm at work <laughs> I still have not been able to get Vic on her little scooter ever since the uh, the kick went out on it. I don't think she's been on it since and it's been what a month and a half I think since that happened? Two months maybe? all these bicyclists out past those couple of back there I got one coming towards me here and one on my side of the road here oh no that's not a bicyclist that's a horse I'm gonna pull in the clutch to deaden my motor a little howdy but yeah couple of cyclists here uh, I'm kind of curious on if that's a uh, like some sort of cycling club or if there's actually some sort of race going on I have to go into work today but it is a Saturday so yeah this this could actually be some sort of a race Take up the whole road, guys. Don't worry about it. You know, it's not like they close off the road for you. <laughs> so sadly, I have to report that I unsubscribed to a channel that I have been watching for years. And I'm talking like seven, eight years. Maybe even nine, now that I think about it. And... He started out on a nice cruiser, and he was going out camping and riding around his area, and... You know, did some good moto vlogging. Well, then he got into riding dual sports, and ended up being that he turned his channel over into basically more or less dirt riding aspects. Which is fine, he can do that, but that's not what I'm into. But yet he kept my interest enough with other things, you know, just his life. And, you know, even though he was on the dirt bike, he was still talking about his life, still talking about his home life, still talking about his... Uh, I, I think it was just a girlfriend, I don't know if they actually got married. But, you know, just talking about that and you know, home renovations and, you know, what his wife does for a living and all this other stuff, you know. So there was enough there 
to where I could say that the channel was still motorcycle focused but not centered okay does that make sense he had a focus on motorcycles so pretty much all of his videos related to motorcycling at some point in the video and it wasn't so focused so centered on the motorcycle that that's all he talked about you know channels like Bodine 52 and Ty from Tennessee they are motorcycle centered they talk about their bikes and that's pretty much all they talk about they might talk a little bit about something else you know talk about their their wives or something but pretty much they just talk about their bike and what they like and dislike and what they want to do to it and what they are doing to it and upgrades they're doing to it well again that's fine and good but I don't have those bikes so what they talk about doesn't really apply to me and yeah for me it's just hard to watch someone that is so motorcycle centered in their channel and can't find anything else to talk about <laughs> I actually came across the channel there's one guy saying he is a real biker it's like okay whatever because in his mind if his house caught fire he would get out to the garage and rescue his motorcycle before he would help his wife and kids okay that's not being a biker that's being an asshole you know nothing should ever come before your wife and kids the only thing I could say would come first would be God okay <laughs> that's the only thing that should come between your wife and kids and you but uh, I've noticed that some of these channels have actually switched into doing um, actually podcasts they they film it in a room a den a living room wherever their computer is at you know maybe they even have a computer in their garage and they sit there and talk so much about you know their podcast and they don't actually really ride much anymore um, and that's actually what got me to drop the one channel that I had been watching for almost a decade is because that's what he started doing you know he would still do a ride every yeah, maybe once a month he would jump out his bike and actually go for a ride but his channel became about making these podcasts and I don't do podcasts I don't listen to them I don't do anything with them so yeah uh, once he started doing that pretty much you know weekly was his normal thing you know, once a week he and a couple of buddies would get together sit around and just talk about motorcycle related stuff but again they would also talk mostly about dirt riding because that's what they were into well they pretty much lost my interest after that so I ended up unsubscribing you know, I've actually found that it's actually kind of hard to you know unsubscribe from a channel because you know you've been watching them they've been a part of your life for so long you know so much about them because they have been um, vlogging you know talking about themselves and you've gotten to know them and everything that's a new stop sign I think last time I was down through here you know to take this curve was not a stop 
Huh, interesting. So, yeah, uh, it, it just gets hard because you feel almost obligated to watch these people because you've invested so much of your own personal time. They make pretty good pizzas in that little store. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, you just feel obligated to watch them because you've invested so much of your time and interest into them. And then they radically change you know, how their channel runs and it just no longer suits your interest. Um, let's see, last update I'll give you though is my garage. I still do not have a garage door. It has been two months since uh, since the accident and I think it's been well over a month since they came out and took measurements and everything yeah and I still do not have a garage door I got a call from a guy gosh has it been no it's been longer than that three months since the accident and the guy called me up a number of weeks ago saying that the manufacturing of the door was still like two weeks out and that was like three weeks ago but I still have not gotten a call back from him saying hey we got a bike or we got the uh, the door in and we can schedule a time to to come out and install it and I still have not gotten that call yet That's kind of cool. Out in that field there, he got a tractor up on a post. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, and there's others going down the driveway too. That's neat. Old tractors elevated up. That is really neat. Well, I think that's going to call the end of my video. And I want to remind you to always believe heart, soul, mind, and body in yourself. Bye, guys.